on well, I'm gonna give you an advance warning. Today on well, a trigger warning. Now this episode will definitely trigger some of you and um, it will definitely make a lot of sense to a lot of you. But um, today's um, topic is black on black. What's that mean, black on black? You know, we hear the term black on black crime all the time, but we really don't understand that we actually have a culture that for hundreds of years has been built, developed, and constructed to pit black men, especially against black men, but black people in general against black people, period, and black on black. So it's not just about black on black crime. I mean, we see it even personified today. I could sit here and blame it totally on the media. Now, the media perpetuates it. It does. And it actually is designed on a model that's based upon continuously portraying um, black people in negative light. Case in point, nearly everything, everything in the news today that has to do with black Americans specifically is typically blacks being pitted against other blacks to convey an opinion or a thought about what somebody else is doing, whether it's, you know, asking, you know, asking, you know, you know, well-known rapper, whether it's asking, you know, you know, you know, Ice Cube and, and Mount Westmore about Kanye or whether it's whether it's Master P, you know, and and his son, Romeo, whether it's I mean, back and forth, one thing or another, we're always pitted against one another. Now, here's the thing. This is not new. This is not new by a long shot. Whether it was, you know, pitting, you know, Malcolm X against against Martin Luther King, whether it was, you know, it's always it's always been part of a design to make sure that the black community stays divided. And it's still it's perpetuated even to the day. You know, people that I'm talking to in real life, you know, are, are dealing with being blackballed, you know, at a high level, you know, by the black community in the black community being, you know, you know, hushed by gatekeepers that are pitted against, you know, their, 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 their fellow black, um, community, you know, um, whether it's activists, whether it's, you know, um, politicians, whether it's, you know, entertainment in every vocation, all the way down to black on black crime, you know, whether it's neighbor versus neighbor. And, and here's what I'm going to address today. There's a, there's a, there's a, a book called the Willie Lynch letter. Um, the making of a slave. Now, some would argue that the Willie Lynch letter is not a true story. Others will argue that it is true. Here's what is true about the Willie Lynch letter. The Willie Lynch letter describes the breaking of slaves and the dividing of, of the male slaves from the female slaves and the breaking and making of a, 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 oppressed and, and, and a black man that's able to be dominated for 300 years. Now, here's the reality. Everything that's stated within the Willie Lynch letter is actual fact, actual fact of a process that was utilized for a long time to intentionally break, you know, break a slave and to make a slave into a, you know, a lifelong generational, you know, generations long, you know, subservient broken and divided group of people. You know, it's just a reality. You know, this is, this is, this is, you know, when we're descendants of, 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 of slaves in America, this is some, this is some of the history that we're still today, you know, um, dealing with on a, on a regular basis. Case in point, back to the medium. I, you know, I, I do a lot of, you know, I spend a lot of time digesting a lot of information from a lot of different places, you know, and, you know, one thing about the internet is it works off of algorithms and so forth. And so it directs you in directions that, 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 you know, it takes all your information and it directs you in, in, a, in a direction that, that it, um, you know, thinks that you should be looking at or thinks that you, you know, that it's going to guide you towards information. That's what it's going to do. It's going to guide you towards information that's personally curated to you by your habits and by your tendencies when you utilize the internet. Case in point, you know, so you'll start to see, so if you follow a lot of entertainers, you'll start to see, you know, it's constant conflict between, you know, blacks and blacks, you know, whether it's Will Smith and Chris Rock, whether it's, you know, and here's the thing, this is not de facto. 
what is de facto? De facto is something that occurs, you know, with, with you know, it, it occurs without anybody intentionally doing it, but it ends up happening anyway. This is not that. This is the jury. This is this is government sanction. This is this is a this is an intentional, you know, there's 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 laws in, of the land that are legislated to to personify these de- these different, you know, these different I'm trying to I'm trying to really be guarded about because it it's very hard. It's a very hard conversation to have, you know, with anybody. This is why people don't have it, because the reality of it is, is this is a very dangerous ground. This is very dangerous ground because this is what you call one of those situations where everybody knows it. Nobody talks about it, you know, and that's what that's what perpetuates this this issue and continues to cycle it through. To where is you know in 2022 it is just as live and prevalent today as it was in 1902, you know. And here's the and here's the and here's the reality. You know we have to be first aware, aware that this is an actual issue that's not just natural. It's not de facto. Like I said, it's not. It's not. It doesn't happen on its own. This is perfectly and and intentionally curated to to you know to to occur this way. So. When I talk about, you know, well, black on black, you know, the issue of black on black, I'm very, very tired of it because what, what it's doing, you know, as a black man, it's very hard to get anything done with any of my black male peers. It's 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 nearly impossible, like I made in a previous video. This is one of the reasons why we struggle so much on top of everything else with mental health, because we're unable to have the brotherhood that we once had. Case in point. You know, with Deion Sanders going from from an HBCU, you know, to, to to Colorado University, what do they do? What you know, what what's done? What's what's the media do? It asks a bunch of you know um, famous black you know entertainers, athletes, and everything. What do they you know? What's their opinion? Should he have done it? You know, should he not have done it? So now there's consternation that's 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 bred in you know amongst black people. You know, again, so it's one thing after another. I can do this all day long. I can name this person, this person, this person, this person. Here's the issue. We have to stop, you know, talk directly to the black community right now. Now it is time for us brothers, you know what I'm saying? I made a video about this a couple of years ago, but, you know, but it is time for us to, to, to intentionally, intentionally go out of our way to make sure that we stop the infighting. You know, that we stop the infighting and that we that we that we take a stance and say, hey, guess what? We're going to do some hard work together and we're going to you know stop the, the, the dividing and we're going to we're going to end the curse of the Willie Lynch letter. Now, the Willie Lynch letter, I'm going to tell you guys, you guys all need to read it, listen to it, digest it, whatever. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you read it, hear it or whatever, it's going to disturb you. I don't care what color you are. I don't care who you are. The Willie Lynch letter is extremely disturbing. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you've not heard it, if you've not read it, you can actually really not speak to this conversation. I'm just going to put it out there. If you are not familiar with the Willie Lynch letter, you cannot speak to this conversation. And I'm, that's, a, that's a very matter of fact statement that I'm making. You know, well, you know, let's have the conversation. But if you if you don't understand what the Willie Lynch letter, you know, the, the making of a slave is talking about is is you if you don't understand the, the 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 program that was developed you can't speak to this conversation you know even though you perpetuate you know the willie lynch letter you don't even know what it says i mean so so you're actually a part of continuing you know to to to, to manifest the willie lynch letter without knowing anything about the lynch willie lynch letter so here's the thing i beseech everyone check it out read it listen to it go on youtube check out the videos just listen, don't just listen to the commentary, listen to the actual reading of the Willie Lynch letter. And I encourage you all, listen to the reading of the Willie Lynch letter. Not just, don't just read it first. I don't even want you to read it first. I want you to listen to it read. Because I'm going to tell you, the it's, it's more than offensive. It's more than offensive. It is very, it's um, paradigm shaking. It's paradigm shifting. It will change it will touch you. I don't care who you are. I don't even care if you're a racist. You're going to hear that. And you're going to be like, oh, wow. You know, it might, might change your views. I don't know. But here's the thing. Until we know, until we understand why this continuously is occurring, you know, where did this come from? Now, I'm going to give you one thing about the Willie Lynch letter. One of the tenets of the Willie Lynch letter says, if this is done properly, you know, the results will last for over 300 years. 
That's what it says in the Willie Lynch letter. I mean, that's what he says. That's what Will, and that's called the Willie Lynch letter because it's supposedly, you know, um, written by somebody, you know, slave owner by the name of Willie Lynch. Hence the name Willie Lynch. Here, you know, you know, hence the, the, the where we get lynching from, you know, where we get, you know, you know, that's why even even as far as today, you know, in 2022, they still have to pass anti-lynching, you know, um, legislation. That's ridiculous. We're in 2022 and we still have to have anti-lynching um, legislation, like as if that's something that we know that shouldn't be that shouldn't be legal, that we know, you know, should have been a law, should have been, you know, illegal to do. Should have been. <laughs> you would think, well, not so much. This is where, you know, being aware of and understanding, you know, and not just complaining about what's going on is what we need to do. You know, this black on black, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, one of my goals, you know, and I've got many, you know, you know, my first goal is to glorify God and, you know, my second goal is to provide for my family. You know, I've got many big goals, right? One of my goals is on my part, you know, the end is black on black everything. That's the black on black infighting. Black on black violence, black on black financial oppression, you know, anything that we can do in the black community to first make sure that we heal inside of the black community. And, and here's the thing. If we are not able to heal inside of the black community, we cannot hold the world accountable for how they treat the black community. Well, might drop, period. Until we heal inside of the black community. We cannot hold the rest of the world accountable for how they treat the black community. I'm going to say it again. Until we heal inside of the black community, we cannot hold the rest of the world accountable for the black community. Now, you know, you might you might have a you know different opinion, but it was just it would just be an opinion because there's just a lot of facts in here. You know, let's have a discussion. Let's have a conversation. But there are a lot of facts. Sure, there are a lot of more, you know, extenuating circumstances that, that go into this. There's a lot more pieces to this. But the reality of it is, is we have to first, you know, we have to first become aware of the why this is what it is. It's not just a natural occurrence. It's not because, you know, um, you know, as black people that were less than that were inferior. Matter of fact, we're not less than anyone and we're definitely not inferior to anyone. The reality of it is, is God has crafted and made us to be a people that's strong enough to endure a lot of things and to be an example for the world. I firmly believe that. Being black, we're to be an example for the world of God's grace and God's greatness. I'm going to be honest with you, you know, to be able to overcome any and every barrier that's set before us. And as such, you know, we have to end black on black everything. We end black on black everything today. And we can move forward into the future because here's the thing. This is it. This is the break point, folks. This is the break point, y'all. You know, in the history of man, we've come a long way in a lot of ways. I'm listening to I'm listening to an interview the other day with um with um it was Al Jazeera um, English and and he was interviewing um, a, a diplomat from from Africa and I'm listening to her and she's speaking and I'm I'm hearing from more and more people. You know, on the conversation of Africa, you know, Africa is has been, you know, the the the, you know, it's been colonized for hundreds of years. You know, it's been taken advantage of. It's been, you know, really, you know, it's been really stripped and and raped of many resources, people, everything. And as a continent, they're 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 merging together to strengthen, you know, economically, you know, socially, and everything. You know, very humbly, you know, to really reconstruct the narrative on how Africa is viewed. And how Africa, you know, is 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 handled and so forth. So I, I take it's very it's very inspirational. It's very interesting, you know, to listen to the matter of factness of the continent bringing, you know, coming together as a whole, you know, to to really, you know, speak to the narrative of of you know, you know, you know, Africa and and black people around the world. And I'm like, this is very interesting, you know. And it's not a us against them. It's a it's a we have to internally correct a lot of the things that 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 we internally have been you know beaten 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 down over centuries you know you know and really just you know we have to you know get in there fix it and then we have to hold the rest of the world accountable to how we're going to be treated but the first and foremost is we have to end the black on black everything the black on black everything has got to stop 
So, well, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. You know, talk to me. Let's have a conversation. You know, if you want to, if you want me to interview you and we can dig more deeper into this conversation, it's a conversation that we must have. But um, welcome to Well. And um, I tell you, hopefully this is a little bit insightful. I mean, this is a little bit more to the throat. But, you know, hey, you know, the reality of it is, is this is not the time for not being direct on, on this. You know, by the glory of God, we have to grab a hold of the situation. And I, for one, am not going to continue to stand for the culture perpetuating black on black against black on black. And that's, and I'm holding media accountable. I'm gonna hold those around me accountable. I'm gonna hold the world accountable for not continuing to 